Welcome to the program. I'm Mark Imperial. This segment's being brought to you by BooksGrowBusiness.com. It's the place where busy professionals get their books done and published to educate their consumers, to build their practices, and to leave a legacy. We're doing a series of spotlights on remarkable experts from across the country. And joining me on this segment is Jerry Myers. Jerry, welcome to the program. Thank you so much, Mark. It's a pleasure to be here today. Thanks for the invitation. Jerry, give us a little sneak peek at the type of work that you do and who are the types of folks that you like to help? Really, uh, it's interesting because my first coaching career in this uh, field that I'm in coaching was really focused on helping people break through their uh, their patterns when it came to business, sales, success, that sort of thing. Uh, right now, I'm transitioning into a brand new role of kind of taking, you know, I, life coach is the word that comes to mind because that's what everybody knows. That's the catchphrase, right? Uh, but really, more than anything, it's it's just a matter of really helping people get out of their head and really connect 12 inches into their heart, going from a mind uh, kind of a lifestyle into a heart coherent lifestyle. And that's really what I'm focusing on my training now. It's really interesting because the same principles that help a business get you know, into their heart, out of their head, are yeah. almost the same sort of things that people can take into their lives. And it's just a, a better way for you to, to, to translate that. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, uh, what I'm really wanting to do is make this more conducive to people who can afford me where, you know, I used to be $2,500 for four sessions, you know, to get in touch with me. And I was working with high level CEOs and things like that. And today my heart has shifted to really wanting to work with the, uh, and I don't want to say this in the wrong way, but you know, the average guy or girl out there that, or, or man or woman out there that really wants to see some differences in their marriage, uh, in their personal life, uh, you know, especially in this world that we're in right now where things are so uncertain, that fear, uncertainty and doubt uh, has really created a lot of problems for people. And I want to help them get through it. A lot of people certainly can use that type of, of a leg up, if you will. And, and Jerry, so what are the biggest challenges that you find people face today that they could certainly use help with? Well, one thing that comes to mind when you ask that question is people are really um, entrenched in old patterns. And when I say old patterns, I'm talking about thought patterns. You know, we are all uh, during our lifetime growing up from the time that we're born and until we hit adulthood, we are experiencing life in the cellular structure of our body. And I'm literally talking internally, the cellular structure of our body is memorizing emotional patterns connected to experiences that we had throughout our life. And most people don't realize that they're literally living on an old program and they get into adult life and sometime in their thirties, they start to go, how the heck did I get to this point? How did I arrive at this point in my life where I'm feeling this way? I don't like my life. I'm not happy with where I'm at. Um, my marriage is falling apart, whatever it is that's going on. I'm not really doing well in business. And, uh, and, and that just continues to spiral forward. And, and so what I really enjoy doing is helping people disconnect those old emotional patterns that are continuing to rise up and show themselves in different areas of life. One thing that really struck me uh, during my years of growing through transitions was everywhere that I went in life, no matter how far I ran away from whatever experience it was. And that's the, that's the typical thing we do is we want to run from pain and, and run to pleasure. And uh, I noticed that wherever I went, Mark, I would find myself there. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> I have to deal with myself all over again. There you are. <laughs> And you know what you said uh, really triggered a thought in my mind about how you're working off these old programs in your in your mind and that's how you behave and react it's it it reminds me of how like you anchor parts of your life to songs like songs can create these emotions and you hear it and you're auto automatically like brought back to that moment is that similar to what happens to people when they're anchoring things to oh, their yes. past programs 100%. I mean, I can tell you that as a child, there was a moment that I had to go back. And I know this sounds crazy. You know, the average person listens to what I'm saying, like, this guy's nuts. You know, but really, I mean, I can remember very clearly being uh, in an incubator. And I was probably in my first, I'm going to say, year of life. And I remember being in that incubator and I was looking out and it was a dark room. I'm inside of a, let's call it a box, if you will, that has, that's transparent. I can see around, but I'm inside of this thing. And it's because I was very asthmatic as a child. Of course, my parents had the best intentions. The doctors had the best intentions. And yet my entire life from that point forward, I remember seeing my parents outside of the room talking to the doctor. 
I didn't understand where that why they were abandoning me, but I had this experience of abandonment and feeling alone, trapped without being able to escape. And that became a a forward momentum in my life where I really began to spend a lot of my time and my uh, energy trying to escape everything that that would feel entrapping to me, especially authority. Fascinating. You know, you know, what comes to mind is I used to coach a little league team. And I remember there was a time where we would go into extra innings and that particular team had never won a game when they went into extra innings. So immediately the emotion that I heard on the whole bench was, oh, that's like a very self-defeating thing. Is that very similar to like what people are anchoring? Like, hey, the past equals the future? Yes. And the, and the sad fact is this, it's not conscious. We do not consciously record these things. We unconsciously, subconsciously record these uh, types of experiences. And so we don't even realize throughout our life, you know, people will go through uh, a divorce, they'll go through um, a, a job loss, they'll go through whatever it might be, you know, the death of a family member or a friend, uh, and circumstances arise, and they don't understand, you know, we hear this thing called law of attraction, and like, well, I didn't attract that. Well, in effect, you really did, but it's not conscious that you attracted it. It's unconscious because an old pattern was showing itself and trying to work itself out because you have to face the patterns that are there in order to break those patterns and move on. And uh, so unconsciously, yeah. I mean, your team unconsciously unaware of the fact that they were used to failing. And so it just it brought up that emotion of, oh, here we are. Oh, how can we win? We've never done that before. We don't know what that feels like. And until you get a new anchored emotional connection to a better experience that overrides the old programming, you're stuck. Now, if you had that particular team, you'd have them take a knee. What could you give them in that moment that would hopefully try, like break that sort of pattern and hopefully give them a new vision? What would you do to that for them? I would simply have all of them, you know, you said take a knee, which is brilliant. Uh, I would have them all close their eyes and I would say, guys, I need you to trust me for just a moment. Trust me and completely disengage from all connection to anything that seems weird to you and just close your eyes and, and focus with me for just a moment. And of course, once they've all relaxed and they've gotten into that state where they've got their mind, their, their mind open and their eyes closed, I would say, I want you, Johnny, or I want you, Sam, whatever their names are, I would start to go through the team and actually uh, tell them what they're experiencing when it comes to the end of the game. I want you to feel right now you are running past the other team and you're, you're hitting their hands, you're high-fiving them, you know, because you're always at the end of the game. You're always going by and saying, good, good job, good job to the other team. And I want you to see your guys, you used to be the ones that felt like, oh, yeah, well, they're the ones slapping my hands and they've got the smile. I want you to see a smile on your face. You're excited. I want you to see yourself embracing your mom and your dad when you get to the other side of that. And you're going home this afternoon. You can't wait to tell all your friends about how this was the game that changed everything and, you're, and you guys won. And just kind of take them through that and literally reprogram a new emotional connection so they could actually move on. Wow, that really painted a whole new picture. Like that that's like the theater of the mind. So that made you me think of like the success and the and it, it feels different in, in, like almost immediately yes. uh, in that moment. So I imagine that to break these patterns and reprogram people, it takes a bit of work and exercises and working with you. Um, to to keep to make it permanent rather than just temporary. Is that right? It does take a little bit of time, but the fact of the matter is that the body and the mind are so in flux that they can change in an instant, just like the snap of a finger. And it really just boils down to, to releasing an old pattern in, a, in the moment and recreating a new pattern in that same moment. And it's easy to do uh, once you know the tools and, uh, and you've got somebody to guide you through that, it's not that hard. And uh, so, I mean, I, I did some of this on my own when I was younger, but, uh, but most important thing is yes, it does take some time, but it's just a matter of doing the same thing over and over again. You, you've been doing the same thing over again and getting the same results that are negative. All you have to do is do the same things over again to get the same new positive results. And it's just a matter of, of really transmuting the old to the new. Terrific insights. Jerry, what inspired you to get into coaching altogether and start helping people, starting with business coaching and marketing coaching, and now transitioning to this? How did how'd you, how'd you get started? 
I'll make a long story short. I was uh, a youth minister, and that's really where my heart, uh, when I was younger, I, I had some youth ministers that I really fell in love with as, as, as friends, you, you know, in, in the uh, youth ministry world. And I wanted to be like them. And I remember that that was my goal. I'm going to go to you know ministry school. I'm going to become a youth minister. And I did that. And after about 15 years of touching the lives of young people, there was a pull in my heart to start working with adults. So I opened a church and started working in the church. Uh, and of course, doing that, I didn't have a way to make money. So I, in turn, went into the network marketing, multi-level marketing field. And the amazing thing about the network marketing, multi-level marketing field is just like being an entrepreneur in any of your own business endeavors, when you open up your own company, you just op you just put yourself in front of a mirror and now you get to see all the negative about yourself and all the positive about yourself and about that fact you realize. <laughs> All of your, all of your, uh, all the things that are going to hold you back and all the things that are going to push you forward. You see that, that mirror just tells you what you look like. And I can remember the transition I went through in learning about myself and, and studying and, and hiring my own coaches and, and business uh, uh, leaders that I would follow and books I would read. And eventually at the, at, at, toward the end of my career in the network marketing field, uh, I had stepped into leadership roles and helping other people in business learn how to do what I had done. You know, this is what I did to get here. Here's how you can do it. And then literally I was coaching and training people on live coaching calls with, you know, with hundreds of people on the line. And that then turned into actually opening a company called Freedom Now, where I uh, did the very same thing, but I started to make it one-on-one -on -one and started uh, coaching people, you know, over the phone and in person one-on-one. -on -one. And that's really where it all started. I've always felt that the network marketing field was a great way if you didn't have a product of your own to get started in, in business and sales. That is your crash course right there. That is jumping in the deep end and, yes. and uh, you know, hearing no a million times is a great, uh, builds that rejection armor. Um, Absolutely. And as you discovered, taking those skills to promote your own business and services, like just came directly from those skills. Right. Jerry, so for folks listening now that could certainly use your help and guidance, how do they find you, connect with you, and learn more? Well, the interesting thing is I'm just now uh, transitioning to this new business, so I don't even have a website up yet. So, you know, when you hit me this week and said, hey, Jerry, um, I want to do a spotlight, I was like, that's great. This is good timing, but I don't have anything prepared. So here's how you can get a hold of me. If you truly want to get a hold of me, you can. Uh, my phone number is 417-438-1513. Again, 417-438-1513. I do have an email and it is planetjerry at gmail.com. That's P-L-A-N-E-T-J-E-R-R-Y at gmail.com. And people say, why is it Planet Jerry? And I go, because it's my planet. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Too. <laughs> That's right. Jerry, this has been terrific. I really appreciate you taking the time and, and sharing your insights with my audience today. And I wish you continued success for you and for all of your clients. Thank you so much for the invitation and doing this. And Mark, I also return that right back to you. Thank you so much. And I hope everything goes really well for you. It's been a pleasure. Thanks so much. That was Jerry Myers. Uh, and this segment's been brought to you by booksgrowbusiness.com. It's the place where busy professionals get their books finally done and out there so they can educate their consumers, build their businesses, and to leave a legacy. That's all for now. I'm Mark Imperial, and thanks for joining me.